Uh, welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Uh, for all that. For all that. Uh, don't mind me. It's too far. For all that. Solutions Academy. Encourage us more. Help us to share and also subscribe. Help us to share and also subscribe to this channel. And if you want to make any help, you want to contribute to this platform, you are always welcome. And we need your help. And we need your help. We need to buy better, uh, bigger board, better camera, and uh, so on and so forth. And also pay our tutors. At this point, we have over 170 videos on our platform it means you can come to this platform and learn any topic of your choice without any problem if you want to make any contribution and want to reach us you can drop email you know to surely be attend to or you whatsapp or you will call us on this number um two three four eight zero three four four nine five nine nine seven you can drop, you can call us here, you can call, you can WhatsApp us, and also Telegram is allowed. Telegram. For any help. Once again, don't forget to share and to subscribe. Okay. This video I'll be walking you through on the eclipse. is a very nice part of mathematics which is under Cooney section. At the beginning of Cooney section, I've explained that uh, we have three of them. We have four of them. I mentioned of circle, I mentioned of parabola, I mentioned of eclipse, and uh, I mentioned of a par a parabolic. Now, which is, uh, we have done circle, we are through with uh, a parabola, and uh, I mean parabola, we are now on Eclipse. The next video will be on um, Hyperbola. Now, when we talk about Eclipse, let me quickly say something about it. An Eclipse is the locus of a point P moving moving in a plane such that the sum of its distance from two fixed fixed points F1 and F2 called Vocas. Vos, Vocas is a constant. Now, can you remember that when I was explaining um, parabola, that one involved only one vo um, via Voca. But this time around, it has two which is always in this form. We are always moving on Cartesian plane. Please don't forget that, that it's on Cartesian plane, which is a coordinate geometry. All these topics are embedded under coordinate geometry. All these topics, parabola and parabola, they are embedded under coordinate geometry. Now, I'll be having first line, and also I'll be having the second line. Now, that is all about it. Now, it means it will have V1, it will have V2, it will have V3, and to have V4. That is what I'm trying to say. Now, it means my V1 will be A, 0. My V2 will be um, minus A, 0. And uh, V3 will be um, 0, B. And uh, V4 will be minus, um, okay, 0, minus B. That is what we are having on. Now, since we have it as 2, it means we'll be having the f as 2, which is look at 2. 
Now, it means if the first one is here, call it F1, it will be C, comma, O. And the second one will now come to this place. Let me just... Okay. And um, the second one will now be L2, which is minus C, comma, 0. And that is what I'm trying to talk about. I don't have much to say here. Maybe I should start to prove to cut a lot of time, but um, now the point B one note the um, point B one, B two, B three, and B four are called. I are called vertices. Vertices of the helpless. Um, okay, of the helpless. The line, the line segment, the line segment of V one, V two, V three, and okay, the line segment of V one and V two. Is called is called um, the is called the major major um axis major axis. Why why the line segment? Line segment V3, V4 are called, are called the minor. Yes, it will be minor. It's called minor. Minor as is. This statement of that is very, very well. And um, also, the point, the point. O is called is called the constant constant I mean it's called not constant it's called center center of the axis I think from the diagram you can see what I'm trying to explain there. Now we can say that um, I would like to do some proving. Let me do from this. Now from the diagram, just note that from the diagram, which is this diagram, from this diagram, my V1, V2 equals to 2A. And also, also, my V3, V4 equals to 2B. That is all about that. Now, also, V1, V3, I mean, V1, F1, it will be equals to V2, F2. Now, Locus, Locus condition. Locus condition we now Locus condition will be now what is local condition to be um F two P one plus P F1 equals to equals to constant equals to constant um, with what I've explained there it means um, we are using this term it means with that I can answer that um, when P 
is on V1. It means I'll be having F2, P plus P, F1 equals to F2, V1 plus V1, uh, F1. V1, F1. Which is, can also be equals to F2, V1 plus V1, I mean, plus um, V2, F2, which are we having V1, F2 plus um, F2, V2, which are we having V1, V2, which is equal to 2 here, which is equal to 2 here. It means F2, P plus P, F1 equals to that. I tell you, I can do a lot of, um, which is, I can say that um, that is equals to that. We all know that um, X minus plus C squared plus Y squared plus root of X minus C squared plus Y squared will be equal to 2K. We all know that. That is, that is very important. And with the help of radical equation, I can now go from here. We have done radical equation before, which is uh, we have to, when we start expanding and do some manipulation. Okay, I would like to do it anyway for more explanation. Now, we all know what is called radical equation. Radical equations are equations like in form of quadratic attached to what? Roots. Attached to once there is root on it, it become a radical equation. It's got one radical equation, which is I'll be having, I'll be having, what am I going to have there? Root of x plus c squared plus y squared to be equals to 2a minus root of x minus c squared plus y squared. Now, since I have it this way, if I do normal, normal, normal squared, which is I square the both side. If I square the both side, I will come out from C X equals to four A X. I mean four, four squared minus four A root of S minus C and uh, plus Y minus two C X. Now, when after squaring, now I will also read arrange this thing again which i'll be having 4a root of x minus c squared minus 2a x equals to this and this are very close friend since they are close friend it will be 4 it will be 4 a squared and uh, minus c x now, reduce everything by 4, which is something good will happen. When you reduce everything by 4, after that, you'll be having a root of x minus c to uh, this one x. This one will be y squared. Sorry for that. Now, to the y squared. Yes. Now, which is going to be a squared cx, and uh, if I also divide everything by a, I'll be having a all over a squared. I mean, all over a. Now, since I have it that way, do the same, square the both sides again, which you are to have s minus b plus y squared equals to uh, this one will be squared equals to oh uh, this is very very funny x x x x x x x x x i'll be having a squared minus two c x plus 2 a c squared plus um, c squared s squared all over a squared. I think something good is going on now. Okay. 
back S, the variable to one side and also and also and also, I'll be having S squared minus um, after I expand this, after I expand this, if I expand that one, I'll be having uh, x minus, which is, I'll be having x squared minus 2 x c plus c squared plus y squared. Now, which I have something very good. With what I'm looking at, this one will manage how this. Uh -huh. It will be left with, um, okay. And um, since I have that, I'll be having x squared plus c squared plus y squared. Uh, x squared plus c squared plus y squared equals to what I'm having here equals to a squared plus now equals to a squared plus c squared s squared all over a squared since i have that i can now rearrange what i'm having there i think uh, s s and there uh, also i can say s squared minus c squared s squared all over a squared what again My plus y squared equals to a squared minus c squared, which I will have. Um, if I should group this, sorry, just trying to do one or two things there. Now, if I should group that, I will be having a squared minus c squared divided by a squared. All bracket of s squared. It means I factor out something here plus y squared equals to a squared minus c squared. Now, since I have this, I can divide all through by by this. Divide through by a squared minus c squared s squared divided by a squared plus y squared all over a squared minus c squared equals to that is what I'm, I'm trying to work on now from from the shape which is OBD OPF which is the focal I'll be having um, a squared equals to b squared plus c squared and um, b squared will be equals to a squared minus c squared now it means i'll be talking about uh, what i'm trying to do is from here and also here now i'm having um F2 and uh, F1, which is a uh, 0, C, or well, you see C is the number of C is comma 0. This one will be minus C comma 0. And uh, this one will be uh, V bracket of A comma 0 and uh, V bracket of uh, A comma 0. This one is minus A and also this one will be P we are talking about it means this is the focal, this is the focal and, uh, and that is what I'm trying this one will be A, this one will be A, this one will be B and uh, all is 19 which is particular theorem is allowed since I have that I cannot say that substitute Substitute substituting v squared for v minus c squared. Now, in the equation, in the equation, 
Now it means I'll be having x squared divided by b squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals to 1. If a is greater than b, if a is greater than b, now which is, uh, we call it canonical. Canonical or standard. Standard. Standard equation of epics. epics. That is all about this thing of this proving. Now, okay, now I'm having this. That is what we are trying to work on in this particular part. Okay. Let me show some problem that will really help us to understand. That's just the proof, which I don't even need it. I just need to show you one or two things. Now, look at this equation. x squared 4y squared equals to 36. Now, I have this type of question, which I want to explain my center, my locus, and vertices. Now, if I have this type of problem, the first thing is, I have 9x squared plus 4y squared equals to this. Divide all by 36. Now, which I'll be having um, x squared all over 4 plus y squared all over, uh, all over 9 equals to 1. Now, it means I've achieved the equation I wrote in, in the last part. Now, which I can turn into um, now center now. My center will be x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared divided by four divided by nine equals to one. Uh, equals to one. Now it means my center is at what origin, which is zero comma zero. Now my vertices. It will be um, which is I'll be having v1. My v1 will be um, minus two comma. Why? Because of a. Don't forget, I'm talking about. Uh, um, I'm coming in the way of um, a comma zero. Now it will now be minus comma this, uh, which also implies. 0 plus 2 comma 0. I think I'll explain that in a previous video. Now, my V2 will be equal to 2 comma 0, which also implies 0, uh, 0 plus minus 2 comma 0. 0 plus minus 2 comma 0. Now, V3 will be our B. We are working on B now. It will be our um, 0 comma 3 which also implies um, 0 comma 0 plus 3 now the v4 it will be equals to 0 comma minus 3 which implies um, 0 comma 0 plus <laughs> minus 3 um that is that now, since I have it this way, it means my fo focus, my focus will be equal to a squared plus b squared. Now, where my a is greater than b, and uh, where my a is greater than b, and you can see that um, where my a is greater than b, and uh, this time around, my c squared will be equals to root of b squared, okay, which is 3 squared plus 2 squared. Now, which is I have 9, 9 root of uh, 5, root of 5. Now, 
it means my c will be plus or minus minus root of 5 and plus root of 5. Now, it means I'll be having c1 equals to 0 or minus root of 5 and my and c2 will be equal to 0 comma root of 5. That is all, all we need. That is all what we need. Now, let me show one more example before I continue. What's a lot of time there? I'll be very fast. Thank you. Now, write the equation of the x's. x two x no twenty five x squared plus four y squared minus five t x minus sixteen y twenty fifty nine equals to the in the Canonical, canonical form and ends determine 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 one <coughs> the coordinate. Coordinate of the <coughs> coordinate of the center of the axis to the focus the four vertices of the axis three. Two focus focus of the X. Now, solution to this problem. I'll be very fast. Now, with the F of my com, which is two X twenty five X squared plus four Y squared minus five X Y equals to zero. Now, with this. I can quickly run to my, I can say that 25x squared minus 50x plus 4y squared minus 16y equals to 59. Since I have it this way, I can say that 25x squared minus 2x plus 4 bracket of y squared minus 4 for y equals to 59. Since I have it this way, I can say that uh, computing out, compute it. Since I compute, I would write this by 2 and um, square the result, which is 2s x squared plus 2x minus plus 1 minus 1, 4 bracket of y squared plus plus um, 4 4 minus 4 equals to 59. Now, I'll be having 25 bracket of x minus 1 squared plus 4 bracket of, one of y minus 2 squared equals to 100. It means 16 and this plus 59 is 100. Now divide all through by that hundred. Divide, divide all through by one hundred. Now it means I'll be having s minus one squared all divided by four plus y minus two squared all divided by twenty five equals to one. Now it means my center, my center is uh, 2,1. My center is 
Now, my now, since I have my center, it means my b squared equals to 4, my b will be plus or minus 2, my a squared equals to 25. It means my no, this, this is going to be my b squared now, which is going to be plus or minus, will be plus or minus, uh, plus or minus 5. Since I have it that way, since I have it that way, I can now continue by having uh, my vertices, my vertices on the vertical, vertical axis uh, will be V1 equals to X plus X1, Y plus Y1, which is A. Which is also the same thing as now we're talking about um, that will be um, 1, 7. That'll be 1, 7. That will be 1, 7. You know what my A is? My A is um, 5 and uh, plus which is going to be 7. Now they also want V2 will be equals to A plus X1 and um, A plus Y1. Which is to be equals to um, uh, one comma minus three, and also on the other part, which is b three, this one will be horizontal, horizontal axis. Now it will be v three, which is uh, b plus x comma zero plus one, and which is it implies. Uh, 3 comma 2 and v4 will be um, minus b plus x1 comma 0 plus y which is going to be um, minus 1 comma 2 now since I have it that way my c squared equals to a squared and b squared which is uh, I have 25 minus 4 which is my root of 21 plus or minus it means um, my f1 will be equals to 0 plus x1 comma c plus y1 which is I'm uh, having it as um, 1 comma root of 21 plus 2 and also f2 will be equals to 0 plus x1 comma minus s which is it to be um, to be 1 comma minus root of 21 plus 2 which is all about it now once again help us to share other solutions academy solutions academy